Mizuho just initiating coverage on Tesla by rating $775 price target, calling it a 100-year disruptor. Joining us now is the analyst behind the call, VJ Rakesh from Mizuho. D does your initiation, does the timing here of your bullish call have anything to do with the fact that the stock had an unusual few weeks, down more than 25% from the highs? Um, thanks for having me on, uh, Sarah and Wilfred. Um, we obviously have been following the EV market and we like the space. Uh, but I, I heard uh, on that squawk on the box, uh, a squawk on the street this morning was questioning my valuation on Tesla. And I wanted to explain that a little bit, how differentiated we are. I think we look at Tesla more as a technology company uh, rather than automotive OEM. We think the keys to the EV market lies in the battery uh, leadership that Tesla has, the ADAS and hardware tech, uh, leadership that uh, Tesla has, and also the vertical integration. And with that leadership, we think they can get to 10% share of the automotive market by 2030. Uh, and that's not uh, that's very really achievable because if you look at look, look at the market today, uh, Volkswagen, uh, Toyota, all of them have 10% plus share. So it's very easy for Tesla to get to that kind of share by 2030. And we get to a sum of parts for Tesla using that uh, to about $845. Uh, but again, uh, we, we used 11 times price to sales, which is very easy to get to for a technology disruptor. Because if you look at the semiconductor technology space, especially um, names like NVIDIA, even Intel, Texas Instruments, AMD, all trade somewhere in the five to 18 times price to sales. So we think um, you know, it's, a, it's a very attractive valuation here. Uh, definitely it has a long, very strong roadmap ahead of it. Very differentiated, so, very vertically integrated. They, they own the battery and the hardware, which no OEM in the, uh, uh, over the world, nobody globally owns their own battery or hardware. So that's a big differentiator, fully vertically integrated, almost like an Apple on wheels uh, that can continuously innovate cost down, Peter. drive down cost, pass it to the consumer. So. Uh, no, number of questions there ba based on your call. One of them is it sounds like a lot of it is on market share, but isn't Tesla losing market share, particularly in Europe as competition ramps up? So if you look at uh, Tesla, they have only less than 1% share of the total LVP market. Uh, if you look longer term, we think they can. They are growing at a 50, 60 percent CAGR on the top line. They can easily grow to 10 percent share of the LVP market if you look out just 10 years. Uh, and what can drive that is also their cost leadership because they have their own hardware, their own battery. Uh, what will basically hold back a lot of the other OEMs is battery supply. Uh, they have to depend on third-party battery suppliers. They have to depend on the technology with the third-party battery suppliers. In Tesla, they own the battery supply. They have their own technology. It's 50% cheaper than what you have out there. So they, right there, they can have a big cost uh, uh, leadership versus many of the competition, the legacy guys. Uh, and mm -hmm. if you look at battery, it's 30% of the cost of the EV. So getting the cost, mm -hmm. the, uh, cost right, getting the supply right is key to leadership. So in the near term, might be quarter to quarter, you have these fluctuations, but I would say focus on the long term. This is a big disruptor. You're missing the forest for the trees. Uh, they have their own technology. They control the entire supply chain from hardware to software to battery to chassis, and, and they can really cost down well ahead of the competition. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.